This question, diseases caused by streptococci, streptococci or streptococci, the diseases caused by the, this bacteria, is a very important question for you, has been asked seven times, okay. So, they can be superative or non-superative um, problems that are caused. Look at these streptococcal diseases, overall they have given here, okay. Basically, by streptococcus pyogenes, you have so many. Yes. Yes, yes. And by group B streptococci, you have these. Enterococcus fecalis, you have this. Viridin streptococci, you have this. So, let us look at the streptococcus pyogenes, what it causes. Pyogenic infections, that means pus causing. Acute tonsillitis, pharyngitis, sore throat, scarlet fever. Scarlet fever, you should not forget. Okay, scarlet fever. Who causes scarlet fever? Streptococcus. You should not forget this one. Okay, and this is something to do with the respiratory tract. So, respiratory tract, where or not it will affect tonsillitis, pharyngitis, scarlet fever. Okay, hold on. Pyogenic means pus forming. Okay. Now, scarlet fever, it is a combination of sore throat and rash, erythematous rash. Okay. Uh, this was caused by the uh, bacteria that uh, produces erythrogenic toxin. However, now it is not, it is not there in India. It happens only in UK and other countries, other colder countries. Okay. So, usually seen in UK. Okay. Uh, it will have <coughs> sore throat plus rash, okay, usually seen in UK, fine, that is about scarlet fever. Now, skin infections, what skin infections will streptococcus cause? Remember, staphylococcus we have finished studying by now, so you will, whenever I say skin infection, suddenly you might go back to that um, Ritter's disease and all that or staphylococcus calded skin syndrome. Remember, it is not that. Please, erase that from your brain and fill this, okay. Skin infections caused by streptococcus is impetigo, necrotizing fasciitis, burns and skin lesions, infection of wounds. Okay, so uh, let me highlight what you need to know. Impetigo, necrotizing fasciitis, fasciitis. Genital infections also it can cause purpural sepsis, purpural sepsis. So, this purpural sepsis means what? Purpural means anything like uh, 6 weeks after childbirth, okay, that is purpural. So, purpural sepsis means sepsis which is occurring in the mother within 6 weeks of childbirth, okay. So, that could happen because of streptococcus. Actually, this purpural sepsis used to be a very big issue before, before antibiotics, okay. Now, coming to streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, you have seen before uh, streptococcal tox uh, staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome, right. Now, it is time to discuss streptococcal toxic shock syndrome. Here, there can be bacteremia, that is uh, bacteria in the blood and necrotizing fasciitis. Necrotizing fasciitis you have also seen in skin infection. Do you know what fasciitis is? You have seen this word already here and there. Inflammation of the fascia, fascia of muscle or organ. That is fasciitis. You have already seen it here in skin infection also, right? Okay, fine. That is a toxic shock syndrome, okay? Necrotizing fasciitis, inflammation of fascia, face, fascia of muscle or organ. Who will cause that? Streptococcus. Deep infection. Deep infections are bone and joint infections. It is septicemia, abscess in internal organs. Abscess, septicemia. Bone and joint infection, this happens because of uh, synovial fluid, right? Because of autoimmune reaction, it can happen, okay? Are you able to hear? Before we proceed, you know, I just want to put a photo here. Because the main thing that you should know for streptococcus is 
respiratory tract infection okay just this is another wake up call if you haven't woken up please woke up wake up we are going to continue the deep infections okay so we are done with the non suppurative infections guys we are done with the non suppurative infections wake up if you are asleep we are done with this let me revise respiratory pharyngitis tonsillitis scarlet fever skin infections will be impetigo necrotizing fasciitis genital infections are what pure peril sepsis pure peril sepsis that is about 6 weeks after child birth but now it has come into control because of antibiotics streptococcal toxic shock syndrome bacteremia necrotizing fasciitis inflammation of the fascia of muscle or organ deep infections you have bone joint infection septicemia abscess of internal organs abscess in internal organs then coming to non suppurative complications you have the rheumatic fever acute acute glomerular nephritis i just found a few other ones see acute rheumatic fever post streptococcal glomerular nephritis already you know correct some neuropsychiatric disorder arthritis is there arthritis definitely because of the definitely because of what the synovial fluid getting infected right okay so can you recall and write i want you to revise all these please tell me what and all you remember streptococcus infections in that pyogenes infections that is group a right group a is streptococcus pyogenes in that you have non suppurative infections in that you have main you should say respiratory under respiratory you have tonsillitis pharyngitis and scarlet fever then you have um, skin under skin you have impetigo necrotizing fasciitis then you had deep infections where you had um, bone and joint septicemia right then you had um, what else did you have let's check genital genital infections uh, pure peril the spelling is very important here pure peril sepsis pure peril sepsis then you have toxic shock syndrome just like strepto uh, staphylococcus you have streptococcal toxic shock syndrome that will be necrotizing fasciitis bacteremia okay deep actually i forgot abscess deep will be, there will be abscess also then coming to oops these were suppurative oops these were suppurative infections these are non suppurative infections okay non suppurative infections you have rheumatic fever and post streptococcal glomerular nephritis p p s g n okay very very good let's move on now let us move on to the other type of bacteria group b streptococci enterococcus faecalis and viridin streptococci group b streptococci cause what neonatal infections okay septicemia meningitis enterococcus faecalis causes urinary tract infection and endocarditis viridin that is the alpha hemolytic group right they also cause endocarditis and dental caries viridins you should always associate it with associate them with dental caries okay let me add that here revision 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 group b causes what i don't remember then you have enterococcus and viridans viridans i know endocarditis enterococcus also endocarditis enterococcus you have uti 
fecalis. Viridens will cause dental caries. I told you that itself is important and I forgot that only. Dental caries. Then group B will be. Group B attacks neonatal infection, septicemia, meningitis. Septicemia and meningitis. Remember, this meningitis, the way it will come in the exam, it will come like name three organisms that causes meningitis, name three organisms that cause septicemia, name three organisms that cause endocarditis, name three organisms that cause UTI. So, these things also you should remember. So, streptococcus can cause meningitis, endocarditis, UTI, everything. Okay. Fine. So, we are uh, winding up this video, guys. So, if you have any doubts, you can please comment. Tata, bye bye.